السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين الصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد يقول الله سبحانه وتعالى في كتابه الكريم ادفع بالتي هي أحسن فإذا الذي بينك وبينه عداوة كأنه ولي حميم This ayah from the Quran is the main foundation for the husn al-ishrah which is patience, forbearing and treating others with kindness, with compassion and with respect. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in this ayah what it means and react to the harm of the other people with that which is kind and nice and respectful. The one between you and him, there is enmity, he will become a close friend to you. This is one of the main etiquettes and main good manners in Islam. And we understand this term, which is husn al-ishra, the forbearing, patience, and treating others with kindness and respect and compassion. We understand it in general form. But when we come to the daily life and we see the aspect or the aspects and the different types of, of this kind of manner, we see how Islam is very comprehensive and wants the Muslim to be of high standard of manner and behavior and etiquette. قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أكمل المؤمنين إيمانا أحاسنهم أخلاقا الموطئون أكنافا The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said in his hadith The most perfect believers in their faith and in their belief are those that have the good manners and those that are lenient to others and those who are respectful and that's why we see this aspect in different uh, types of treatments in our life one of the aspects of the husn al-ishra or to be patient and respectful and kind to others is when it comes to the relationship between the person and his parents Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes this relationship in the Quran by the ihsan. And ihsan is to be perfect in faith and belief. In the hadith of Jibreel alayhi salatu wasalam, when he came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam, he talked to him about Islam and Iman and then ihsan, the highest level of faith. When Allah azza wa jal describes the relationship between the person and his parents, he says, وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا Also, we see this aspect of husn al-ishra, the kindness and the good treatment. We see it in the relationship between the husband and the wife. قال الله سبحانه وتعالى في كتابه الكريم وَعَاشِرُوهُنَّ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ And treat your wife with kindness and with compassion and with respect. We see it also in the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam reflecting this ayah from the Quran by saying خيركم خيركم لأهله وأنا خيركم لأهلي The best amongst you is the best to his wife and to his family and I am the best to his wife and to his family and we see it also reflected in the relationship between the wife and her husband that she is supposed to be kind, nice and respectful and obedient to him. In fact, the obedience to the husband will be the way for the wife to get admitted into the heavens, the Jannah. قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم إذا صلت المرأة خمسها وصامت شهرها وحصنت فرجها وأطاعت زوجها قيل لها يوم القيامة دخولي من أي أبواب الجنة شئتي The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said if the wife prays her five daily prayers, fasts her month of Ramadan, protects and guards 
her dignity, honor, and chastity, and obeys her husband, on the day of judgment, it will be said to her, enter Jannah, paradise, through whichever gate you like. We see this husn al-ishra with the kindness and the good treatment reflected in the relationship between the parents and their children, or between the adults and the young. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had reflected that in his treatment of Al-Hasan Al-Husayn al Hussein, Radiallahu Ta'ala Anhumah. And we know the incident when he was making sujood and one of them was playing on his back. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did not raise from his sujood until he gets off his back. He did not want to disturb his grandchild while playing on his back during the sujood. What kindness to the kids, to the children, to the youngs that was reflected by the Prophet One day he's sitting with his companions and someone brought a drink to the Prophet So he drinks from it. And then the sunnah is to give it to the one in your right side. But what happened, who was on the right side of the Prophet a child, young boy. But the other people that sitting with the Prophet were the adults. So the Prophet it is the right of this child to be given the drink after the Prophet So the Prophet asked his, ask his permission. Should I give it to the elders first? And the boy said, no, this is my right and I want it. And the Prophet gave it to him. And the reason that the boy wanted that is because he wanted to have the honor of drinking after the Prophet ﷺ. But the point is, the Prophet ﷺ did not just hand it out to the elders and neglect this young boy sitting beside him to his right side. We see that, kind, that kindness and the good treatment of the Prophet ﷺ. The kind treatment or the good treatment and kindness is also between the Muslim and his neighbors, whether they are Muslims or non-Muslims. The Prophet said, let him who believes in Allah and the last day not harm his neighbor. And the Prophet said in the hadith, Wallahi la yu'min, Wallahi la yu'min, Wallahi la yu'min. He said, by Allah, he is not a believer. By Allah, he is not a believer. By Allah, he is not a believer. And they said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, who is that? And he said, The one that his neighbor does not feel safe against his heart. And he said in another hadith, لَيْسَ بِمُؤْمِنٍ مَنْ بَاتَ شَبْعَانٍ وَجَارُهُ إِلَى جَانِبِهِ جَائِعٌ وَهُوَ يَعْلَمٌ He said in another hadith, he is not a believer, the one who sleeps with full stomach. And he knew that his neighbor, the one who is next to him, that person, he knew that he is hungry. The Prophet ﷺ said, he is not a believer who sleeps with full stomach, knowing that his neighbor does not have food. And a woman was mentioned to the Prophet ﷺ that she fasts many days and she prays in the night time, but she was mean and she was harmful to her neighbors. The Prophet ﷺ said she will be in the hellfire because of that. Another woman was mentioned to the Prophet ﷺ that she does not pray that much. She restricts herself to the obligatory prayers. She fasts few days. She's not doing as much as the other woman was doing. But she was nice, kind, and good to her neighbors. The Prophet ﷺ said she will be in Jannah. This kind treatment and the kindness, the, pa the patience and the forbearing, Husn al-Ishra, will be reflected between the Muslim and his relatives. The Prophet ﷺ said in the hadith, لَيْسَ الْوَاصِلُ بِالْمُكَافِئِ وَلَكِنَّ الْوَاصِلَ الَّذِي إِذَا قَطَعَتْ رَحِمُهُ وَصَلْهَا The Prophet ﷺ said, the one who is considered as a wasil, wasil means the one who keeps the good, the good and the kind relationship between him and his relatives. He said, he is not the one that just keeps the relationship because they keep the relationship. Yeah, they are good to him, he is good to them. 
He said, this is not the one that considered as the real wasil or the one who really keeps the good and the kind relationship. He said, he is the one when his relatives cut the relationship with him, he keeps the good and the kind relationship with, uh, with them. Husnul Ishra Aydan will be reflected with the good um, uh, treatment and the kindness will be reflected between the Muslim and his friends. قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم من نفس عن مؤمن كربة من كرب الدنيا نفس الله عنه كربة من كرب يوم القيامة ومن يسر على معسر يسر الله عليه في الدنيا والآخرة ومن ستر مسلما ستره الله في الدنيا والآخرة والله في عون العبد ما دام أو ما كان العبد في عون أخيه The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said whoever <coughs> relieves a Muslim from a hardship in this dunya, Allah Azza wa Jal will relieve him from the hardship of the Day of Judgment. And whoever makes it easy for the Muslim, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will make it easy for him in this world and in the hereafter. And whoever conceals the faults and does not, the, does not expose the mistakes of his brother, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will conceal his faults in this life, in this dunya, and the hereafter. And Allah will continue to be in support of the servant as long as that servant is in support and is helping his brother. According to the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ. Even this good treatment and kindness will extend to the uh, weak ones and especially to the orphans and to the widows. The Prophet ﷺ said, As-sa'i. على الأرملة والمسكين كالمجاهد في سبيل الله وكالقائم الذي لا يفطر والصائم الذي لا يفطر. The Prophet ﷺ said the one who helps the orphans or the widows and the needy and the orphans will be equal to the one who is making jihad in the cause of Allah سبحانه وتعالى will be equal to the one who prays during the night time and does not sleep will be equal to the one who fasts every day and does not break his fasting. We see, my dear brothers and sisters, this kind treatment and this husn al-ishra is actually one of the main distinguishing manners of Islam that makes the Muslim very distinguished and honored by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. إِدِفَعْ بِالَّتِي هِيَ أَحْسَنْ فَإِذَا الَّذِي بَيْنَكَ وَبَيْنَهُ عَدَاوَةً كأنه ولي حميم نسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى أن ينفعنا بالقرآن وأن ينفعنا بسنة نبيه صلى الله عليه وسلم وأن ينفعنا بأخلاق الإسلام إنه على ما يشاء قدير وبالإجابة جدير اللهم آمين يا رب العالمين اللهم إنا نسألك الهدى والتقى والعفاف والغنى ومن العمل ما ترضى برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم اغفر لنا ذنوبنا واستر عيوبنا واشرح صدورنا وبلغنا مما يرضيك آمالنا وصل اللهم وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك والعصر إن الإنسان لا في خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر جزاكم الله خير